WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow is up 122 points, 115 points, about three-tenths percent. S&P six-tenths or 27 points. NASDAQ 107 tenths or 109 points. Russell 2001 and two-tenths percent or 25 points. The semis are off 67, one and nine-tenths percent. You've got gold trading out at 1935.90. That's up 18 bucks. Silver's trading out at 25 bucks. Even Stephen, 26 cents to the upside, a little over 1%. Natural gas up 25 Five pennies. That's a big move. Nearly five percent. She's trading at five fifty-eight. And the thirty-year Treasury up ten ticks. One forty-nine oh eight is the print. Let's go spend a little time and take a look at our uh, eight-paneled uh, indice charts out here. If you give me a moment, we're going to change screens in the upper left-hand side. In just a moment, you're going to see the Dow Jones Industrials. You're not going to see a topping pattern. You're going to see price getting up to resistance. TD nine count breakdown level of thirty-five four thirty-one. And oscillator and change line that recently changed color. Price net line are likely to catch up to each other. That is if the S&P and the NASDAQ are able to pull the markets lower. The S&P 500, that's the next chart, has a TD9 count top. That completed yesterday. The NDX 100, a TD9 count top yesterday as well. Both of those suggest that price should target their oscillator and change lines. In the S&P, it's 44.73. In the NASDAQ 100, it's 14.460. The Russell 2000 yesterday was attempting to break out. In fact, it still is in breakout above its consolidation. But if it's able to close back below, 210520, we're 2108, then the consolidation breakout message will have been negated, and that would suggest at least point back to 2061. The semis do not have a topping signal. The SMH does, so you've got difference in those two charts out there. So if the S&P and the NASDAQ are going to move lower, well, so too will the semis, and their price target would be 3421. Now, you've got inside bars in the S&P and the NASDAQ right now, and inside bar typically says, and you've got that in the Dow, that that the trend that's in place should continue and that's a move higher so th those are the signals but it will all be dependent upon what it looks like at day's end out there so your td9 count tops are in the new york stock exchange nasdaq composite ndx and s p 500 a consolidation pattern in the russell 2000 and uh folks stay tuned your favorite polar bear well i believe he is a polar bear today he is up next so stay tuned for that tom o'brien will take us on home from three to four and i'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday at 1 o'clock sharp. Have a wonderful Wednesday.